Hey everybody, YouTubers, friends, countrymen, lend me your eyes, I suppose. Um, this is St. Enix, nice to see everybody. On contrary to popular belief, I am not dead. Uh, so, I got a heads up from a faithful sub, subscriber, that uh, he said that they came out with a PC version of Fallout Shelter. It slipped under the radar, they just did a Twitter thing, it wasn't a big announcement. Um, I was clueless, but... Uh, so I decided I was going to make a video about how to get it, how to install it, how to do what you got to do, and how to use my save files in the new PC version of Fallout Shelter. So, the simple, basic, easy thing, let's delete some trash. I can't help it, I'm OCD like that. I, I can't leave the trash in there. Uh, whoops, not bath. I want to go to Bethesda.net. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You're going to up here where it says sign out, there's going to be a join now, make yourself a little account, type in your nickname, name, email address, get the verification email, blah blah blah, yada yada. You guys know how to sign up for shit. You know, I shouldn't have to explain that to you. So, you get signed in, you get all sorted, you come to the regular Bethesda.net dashboard. For some reason, K Melion does not like this link, so I always have to open it in a new tab. You guys probably won't have that problem running Chrome or Firefox or whatever you're using. So, all this stuff is all fine and dandy and fun and whatnot, and you can read through it at your own, you know, leisure, your whatever. But uh, you want to click on the PC link down here at the end of the first little intro paragraph. It's going to open your Bethesda dot or Bethesda Net Launcher underscore setup dot exe. It's a 7.1 megabyte file. It downloads pretty quickly, um, and then you're going to, of course, you know, save the file, open it and click through the install. It's going to have that, you know, I have read and accept the EULA checkbox bullshit and a couple of next buttons and it'll download some more shit and then you'll be good. Okay. Once that's loaded and installed, you'll get this page. You'll get the creation kit for Fallout 4, at least that's what listed first for me. Then you click down here on Fallout Shelter and you'll have an install button as opposed to play. It's a 280 megabyte full download, like compressed game file download, um, and the server seemed to be going a little bit slow for me, but it is kind of prime time here in the U.S., so maybe that's just because it's kind of busy. Uh, it took like 8 or 10 minutes, and I have a 100 megabit connection. It shouldn't, it should not have taken that long. You know, it should have literally taken like 10 minutes. It, well, no, yeah, okay, about 10 minutes. Never mind, I guess I'm stupid. So, uh... You, you click install, it's going to be 1.24 gigabytes all said and done after it's decompressed and it's installed with all the files where it needs to have them. Okay, so make sure you got at least one and a half gigs floating around in your hard drive that you can use. Um, once it's done installing, you're going to click play, bada bing, bada boom, you have to do this. Okay, you have to open it for the first time, just like an Android, uh, just like... Uh, let's go to the options. I want to turn this freaking sound off. Um, just like Android, uh, BlueStacks, anything like that, you have to open the thing first for it to create the necessary folders. Once you open it the first time, then if you go into your My Computer, you know, boom, computer or whatever, whether you go through Computer here, you go to Documents. You can go to Documents, straight to Documents or whatnot. You go to your Documents, and in your Documents is My Games. Inside my games, Fallout Shelter, boom. This is actually Vault, the Vault 595 save. My brand new save with the pet carriers and things like that. So you do your the same thing as you do on Android or BlueStacks. You put the save file in here, you rename it 1, 2, or 3, and then you close the folder. You're good to go. Okay? And then you can enter your vault. You can't do it while it's running. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you open it the first time, then move the file in there, then try to load it, it won't load it. you got to close the program and go back in after you load the save file, okay? Um, but, yeah, as you can see, a b bajillion caps, pet carriers, lunchboxes, Mr. Handys, 20,000 lunchboxes, like, a hundred and something Mr. Handys, a couple hundred pet carriers. I mean, a completely untouched vault with nothing in it. You can design it however you want. You can do whatever you like. You know, um, I'm thinking about looking into some of these new updates and stuff and seeing if I can't find you guys some, some more cool things to do with the game and hook you guys up with some more free stuff. But there you go. 
there's my save files inside the PC version of Fallout Shelter, sh how to download it, where to get it from, what to do. Okay, yeah, we don't care about tips. There you go. Cool? Let me know if you guys have any issues, if you run into any problems. Also, I want to give you a little bit of heads up. I just want to, you know, touch base with you guys on this, that uh, my Fallout Shelter... Oh, crap. My falloutshelter.inixstudios.com page will be going the way of the dinosaur. This will be removed. There will be no more falloutshelter.inixstudios.com. There might not even be an inixstudios.com. Before the end of this month, I'm planning on rolling out some new content. Um, there might be a little bit of downtime in between, and I apologize for that. I'm planning on bringing, rolling out some new stuff, um, namely BFG, Byte, B-Y-T-E, Force Gaming, my new uh, gaming channel, multi-channel network eventually, things of that nature. There's going to be a lot of new stuff, a lot of things going on. That's why I have been pretty quiet lately, because I've been trying to plan out what I'm doing in the future and get a roadmap set up for you guys so it's not just this haphazard kind of shit happening whenever type of deal. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, just want to say once again, thank you guys for all your support, for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscribe or subscriptions, you know, uh, for, you know, and I appreciate the word of mouth and letting your friends know, or, or, you know, showing off your vaults. Let me know how you're doing. Um, I try to answer all the comments that I feel need an answer. You know, if you just say, hey, thanks, Sometimes I don't answer those, you know, because it doesn't, you don't need to help. I appreciate the thanks. I try to make sure I answer them, but, you know, sometimes that just falls by the wayside. But if you guys have a problem, have an issue, you can reach me at my backup email. It's uh, inix, I-N-I-X, computers at hotmail.com. Just in case during the transition there's a, there's a mess up. Uh, I just want you guys to be able to get a hold of me. I'll throw some links in the comment, or in the description, um, to the Bethesda download and to, you know, some other things. If you guys need anything, let me know. I'm more than happy to talk to you, and I want to hopefully bring the new content and interactive stuff out sooner rather than later. It might take a little bit of time to get everything, all my ducks in a row, but uh, I'll hopefully be seeing you guys on, like, some, some uh, in-house chat rooms and some forums and some things like that. I'm going to really try to expand this and make it an entertainment venue for all you guys. Feel free to leave me suggestions, comments, anything like that. Always open to suggestions. Thanks again, everybody. Take it easy. This has been St. Inix.